My name is Ellen, and I'm from West Orange. And my name is Charles, and I'm from West Orange also. So we took bids from a number of people. We reached out to a bunch of contractors. Mm -hmm. um, we had about three. Three people came. Yeah, three. In the in the end, three people came and made made proposals. Uh, looked at the job and wrote up detailed proposals. There was one guy who was lobbying really, really heavily how much he loved the house and was interested in working with us, but. It was really Carpenter's touch that made us feel like they understood the scope of work and the full process, could overview for us everything that was gonna happen and walk us through step by step the whole thing, which gave us a lot of confidence that they would be able to, first of all, do the job, but really guide us through what it meant to do the job. The process was, was fantastic. I mean, uh, we were really happy with the communication and the availability of the um, you know, everyone at Carpenter's Touch to you know the response time for when we have questions, emails, and calls. Uh, we were always able to get an answer quickly. Doing a big renovation can be anxiety-producing, but yeah, they were never hard to reach. They always stayed in touch with us. And, and when we did reach them, they always reassured us. It was that they were great. Um, we never felt like we didn't know what was happening. Um, communication was great. Well, uh, because of because of the specific time of COVID, um, sometimes materials, sometimes um, appliances were delayed. Yeah, our appliances were delayed. Our cabinets were delayed. Um, we <laughs> had a real drama with our our hood. That, came from Mexico and there was, it didn't make it to the border, the, there was like a whole drama with it. There was a gang that stopped it and set it on fire. This had nothing to do with Carpenter's Touch, but it was like, oh my God, the, the drama. Just the, just the, the, the hood was on its way from Mexico <laughs> to the Texas border and it was attacked by, they described as banditos. Yeah. And they burned the truck. They, they, had they to remake the. The whole story was like that, you know, it was supposed to come December 28th. December 26th, we get an email that says there's been a problem with these photos attached, and it's like the copper is in, you know, bent up and burnt. The driver had been ordered out of the truck, yeah. and the truck was set on fire. And we started wondering, like, yeah. are, we, yeah, are, are, are we getting like, ripped off? Like, straight, what straight, happened here? Straight like, out of the movie. Yeah, totally. Everyone, everyone and Junior was, okay. was That's why it's funny. It was, ev everyone totally. was fine. No one was hurt. But it sounded like a scam. It sounded like a scam. Junior was like, it's almost believable. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> we didn't know if it was going to come or not. It finally came. But it, there was a big holdup because of that. And, you know, it was just because I had found this. I had fallen in love with this copper hood that I wanted and so got for cheap. and. <laughs> So we sort of planned the kitchen around the copper hood and then the copper hood was like, oh my God. But See. there was also snow, there were snow delays, there was hmm. inspection delays. Once they tore up the floor in here, um, that's, that's there something, something were things we didn't expect to find. But yeah, through all of it, Carpenter's yeah. Touch was really great about letting us know what was happening, letting us know what additional cost there was, and there wasn't actually that much additional cost. That was also, that was something we were prepared for, but they, it was very reasonable. It all totally made sense, and we were involved in the decisions around it. Mm. This used to be a small room with a wall there that had a, a fireplace and a chimney. The refrigerator used to be here, and there used to be an island here such yeah. that you would come down these back stairs, open up the dishwasher into the refrigerator. There's nowhere to sit. <clears throat> so when we first looked at this so house- Also the door was swapped. We swapped the door with the window so, so we could have a sink with a window over it. Yeah, we, we sort of, when we came to look at this house, we came into the kitchen and we were like, we couldn't imagine, I couldn't imagine sitting down in the kitchen and having a meal. It was really narrow, it was dark, and while it was tall, there wasn't anywhere to sit, and it seemed like it actually was a lot of space, but with nowhere to sit. It was a very strange space, and then there was a tiny room over there that we didn't know what we were gonna do with. So 
We knocked down the wall. Carpenter's Touch took the chimney out from the roof line down to the first floor. Also, we found out that there was a, the sewage pipe was, like on the walkthrough day, we found out that the sewage pipe was leaking and corroded. So we had to replace the sewage pipe. And taking, buying an old house is a big responsibility. <laughs> we knew we were taking on a labor of love. So but, we didn't back out of the deal. We were like, okay, we're gonna do it. But because we took out that sewage line, we decided uh, we were gonna we were gonna redo the first floor bathroom where the line passed through, and upstairs we we put in an upstairs laundry room. Nice. We, we, we have. We do recommend <laughs> governors, and we have recommended carpenters touch many times already, and we'll continue to do so in the future. I imagine. Yeah. Yeah, we've been recommending Carpenter's Touch to our friends and we've had a really good experience working with Carpenter's Touch.